Hey Chandler, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> man, I brought you some bamboos. I see, you brought me a lot of bamboo. I know, man. Are we gonna try and fit all this in the King Cavern closure? You. Man, it's up to you, man. Uh, I just figured I made all the way down here, go big or go home. Yeah, I say screw it, let's just put all this bamboo in there and make it like a jungle. Well, you do, you know, you gotta keep it safe. Yeah, yeah. We could line up the walls maybe and just do a little pathway in the middle where I could walk through <laughs> with a giant king cobra. But I'll, show, I'll show you how these bamboos work. What so kind these, of bamboo are they? This is, this is gracilis. This is, this is the most popular bamboo in Florida. Wow. It's the one they plant the most. It's very fast growing. It can be full sun. It can be shade. This is gracilis. This one right here is Asian lemon, I think. Yeah. <laughs> how, big, how big does the Asian lemon get? They, again, they'll get big, but see, once you cut it, once you cut it, it won't grow any taller. What about this one? How tall what? does this one get? Tall, but once you cut it, it won't get, it won't get any <laughs> Huge, taller. Huge, the biggest one's around. <laughs> no, but it won't get any, see, see this, so they pruned it here. I see, You yeah. see, they pruned it here, and then once they prune it, it may get a foot, and that's it. Oh, that's perfect, it'll get bushy at the top. Yes, yes, and then, then if you want any more height, you gotta wait for a new cane from the bottom. All right, so I say uh, we go get the king cobra out of the enclosure so we can safely plant it, make it look pretty. Uh, we gotta go wake her up though. I'm sure she's not gonna like that. So you guys wanna come okay. spot me and make sure I don't die? Okay. All right, so this is Justina's enclosure right now. We're gonna have to pull her out of this enclosure and wake her up, which she's not going to be liking. So let's see if I can get her attention. Is she awake? Hello? Justina? 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 You in there? Here we go. Whoa! Come on, Justina. Come out. Come on, Justina. Whoo! She is a tough king cobra. Indonesian king cobra, king cobras in general, the biggest venomous snakes in the world. They do not mess around, and this one is very defensive. She will not give a forgiving bite. She won't venomate. Oh, relax. You're okay, mama. All right, time to take her out. Let me go get my hook to make this easier. Up against the glass. You're okay. You know, I try to use snake hooks, but with a king cobra, it's really hard. They're just too big. Woo. All right. Nice and easy. Woo. You can come close now. Snake is secure. Oh yeah, Justina the Indonesian King Cobra. Oh. Snake hook just doesn't work. She's too big for a snake hook. She's gigantic. <sighs> hey, hey Mike, you look funny. <sighs> She's no joke, she'll kill you. They have enough venom to kill a bull elephant. Hey Mike, you look funny. What are you doing? That's crazy. What is the problem? I ain't finna go over there. <laughs> what? That's impressive. Uh, you scared? Yeah. <laughs> this man right here, man, you... I've never promise. seen nobody do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now the enclosure's safe, so you guys can go in there, see what you think, and we can bring all the plants in. Okay. They're all highly venomous. Everything in here is venomous, <laughs> except for like four snakes, the anacondas. So this is Justina's enclosure. I feel kind of funny being in here. We're gonna beauty snakes out right now. We're gonna beautify this today. I got 14 beautiful pots of bamboo. Okay, put, the, put them here, one, two, three, four. One, two, there you go. That looks beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Now, is it safe for you? 
I mean, they, they can even drag the mulch back with their hands if they want. Oh, okay. Uh, but if they pull the mulch back, it can be on the bottom of the cage and they can like push the mulch up. I mean, it looks so... It looks great. Great place to get ambushed. But it looks so, awesome. Yeah. They, they can go all the way up here. This whole corner right here. Yeah, all this can be bamboo. Bamboozled. No. I, I won't get too close, Mom. No, careful. But you run too slow. <laughs> yeah, careful. Well, his name, maybe can I hit you? There we go, Justina. Okay. All right, I'm taking out the pin. Just back up a little bit. Pull a lot. Yep. <laughs> hey, Mama. I got my trusty big King Cobra hook, but she does not like being hooked at all. She doesn't like the touch of the metal. She doesn't like... <laughs> Any of that. So sometimes I have to take the liberty of free handling her, but it's super dangerous because she is a biter. And she doesn't mess around. Let's hope uh, we do this quick. <laughs> All right, you see, look at this, it's happy. So I already put the trees and the bamboos for the house, the cobra. She looks a little opaque, so that just tells me that she's probably going to shed soon. The scales on her belly and hood look a little bit dull. Usually they're much brighter yellow. The, the cobra can I watch you the front? Or, or yeah, they, they got peripheral vision, so they kind of just see all the sides and a little bit of the front. Yeah, for the UCs, I put a lot of attention only in the front. So did you move or something like that? Just move it. Yeah. yeah, so like a viper, like a rattlesnake, has heat-seeking pits. Yeah. It sees the warm body, the thermal image. Mm -hmm. These guys don't have heat-seeking pits. They just focus on movement with their eyes. Wow. So that's how I get the animal to look at me and make mm. a little bit of movement. How many, just, how many years now? This snake is probably like 10 years old or maybe older. Yeah. I've known her since I was 17 years old and she was like seven feet long. And now she's like 12 foot and I'm almost 27. You want to touch her, my mind? <laughs> Why? Well, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks amazing. It really greened up the place. And since all the old bamboo I had before I got bit by that Indian cover died, it's nice to finally fill this cage back up because now this place looks beautiful. Look at it. Now she can crawl all behind it. She can enjoy the foliage, new senses of smells and tastes in the air. So it's like enrichment for the snake. And overall, just better for the mental health of the animal. More places to hide and feel secluded. Because, you know, lots of snakes out in the wild, they just want to hide out in dens. These guys are very active. They do need space, but they do like to find a nice log to hide out in and let the time pass by. Especially on a rainy day like today when they can sense the vibrations from the rain. Well, I'm glad I could come down and help. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, before you go, I'm going to feed some of my tropical fish.
We will see you next week, and don't forget to like and subscribe.